So in this problem, we're told to verify that the function satisfies the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem on the given interval. Then find all numbers C that satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. Enter your answers as a comma separated list. And we're given this function here, f of x equals x cubed minus x squared minus 12x plus 4. This interval, uh, this closed interval from 0 to 4. So in order for, uh, for us to use Rolle's theorem, we have to meet, the, meet uh, three criteria. And these are going to be the three criteria. It must be continuous from the closed interval from A to B, must be differentiable from the open interval of A to B, and f of A has to be equal to A and B. So A and B are basically just 0 and 4. So let's just uh, test if these are true. So is this function continuous from the closed interval of A to B? Well, we know that um, polynomial functions are continuous on from minus infinity to infinity. So this is going to check out. Is it differentiable? Well, all polynomial uh, functions are differentiable from minus infinity to infinity. So that also checks out. But what about is f of a equal to f of b? Well, we can test that. So if we plug in, uh, so a is 0 and b is 4. So let's just test those. So if we plug in 0, we're going to get f of 0 equals 0 cubed minus 0 squared minus 12 times 0 plus 4. So it's basically just 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 4. So it's going to be equal to 4. What about uh, f of 4? So let's test and make sure that they're equal. So if we plug in 4, 4 cubed minus 4 squared minus 12 times 4 plus 4. And so I've already gone ahead and do this, but if you do this on your calculator or just solve it out, you're going to get that this equals 4 too. So then that means uh, f of 0 is going to be equal to f of 4. They're both going to be equal to 4. So this also checks out. So now we can actually use the theorem. So the theorem tells us that f prime of c is going to be equal to 0. So all we got to do to find c is just take the derivative of this function, set it equal to 0, and then solve for x. So let's go ahead and do that. So f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 12x plus 4. So the derivative of it f prime of x is going to be equal to 3x squared minus 2x minus 12. And so what we're doing is we're setting this equal to 0. So if you want to try and factor this out, uh, you're not going to be able to, uh, just because of the way this function is. So how else can we find where it equals 0? So what we're going to do is use uh, the quad quadratic equation. So the quadratic e tells, the equation tells us uh, that 0 is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So let's decide what a is, what b is, and what c is. So a is going to be the first number in front of our uh, this uh, x squared. So a is going to be 3. b is going to be this number right here in front of our x, which is minus 2. And then our final number is just going to be c, so minus 12. So let's just plug all our numbers into this function. So minus b, so uh, minus uh, negative 2 is just going to be 2, so we're going to have 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So minus 2 squared is just going to be 4. Then minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is minus 12, over 2 times a, which is 3. So let's simplify this. So we'll have 2 plus or minus, so 4 minus um, uh, 4 times 3 times minus 12. So if we go ahead and put that at Solve that, we're going to get 4 times uh, 4, 4 minus 4 times 3 times minus 12. We saw that you should get 148. Then on the bottom, we just have 2 times 3, which is 6. And so this is going to be what c is. So c is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 148 over 6, but these are going to be two values. So actually, uh, we can't use the minus because if you do minus for this, you're going to see that the minus is not within this interval. So we can't use that. So it's going to have to be the positive one because this is two values. This is 2 plus the square root of 148 over 6 and 2 minus uh, the square root of 148 over 6. So we're going to have to use 2 plus. So C is going to be equal to 2 plus the square root of 148 over 6. And this right here is going to be the answer.